This is the UW Raven surgical robot, a six degree of freedom cable actuated surgical robot that is unique in that it is IP addressable, it is modular, and we have the ability to modify control software and add new capabilities such as image guidance, tissue recognition, and semi-automated behavior. In a field test of the UW Raven surgical robot last year, the robot was deployed in the field in the high desert of Simi Valley, California. Here we have Timothy Broderick, a surgeon from the University of Cincinnati, controlling the surgical robot through two Omni Phantom Arm controllers. In the battlefield, reliable telecommunications is an issue. The military is currently using unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, over the skies of Iraq and Afghanistan. In this field test, a UAV was used to relay microwave signals between the control station and the surgical robot. Although this did increase the latency of the tasks, it proved to be a feasible method of communication between the base station and the robot. Here you can see the robot in action and performing a number of tasks. This is the first knot tied by the UW Raven surgical robot, again using control of the robot over a microwave connection from an overhead UAV. This spring we were involved in a NASA mission, NEMO-12. In this mission, the surgical robot was taken to an undersea environment, the Aquarius. The Aquarius is located under 10 meters of water off the coast of the Florida Keys. Aquarius is used by NASA to test technologies for deployment in eventual space missions and is also used for team training and simulation. In the NEMO-12 mission, surgeon Timothy Broderick from the University of Cincinnati was stationed underwater with a team of astronauts and scientists. The robot was taken down by a team of Navy divers and set up in the underwater environment. Then it was controlled by surgeons stationed at the University of Washington using standard internet links. In order to standardize performance metrics for surgical robotics, our lab has now adopted the fundamentals of laparoscopic surgery as a set of standard tasks that can be duplicated using a number of different surgical robotic systems and control mechanisms. Here's a clip from a National Public Radio piece on the NEMO experiment. Dr. Andrew Wright puts his feet on the pedals, his hands on the joysticks, and scoots in. So we're ready to teleoperate. Well, the arms are working. The camera focuses on tiny pink blocks sitting on pegs. From 3,000 miles away, Dr. Wright practices his dexterity by picking them up with his robot arms and restacking them. He loses his grip on one block. Oh. Pediatric surgeon Thomas Lenve says, there goes a spleen. 